Tax Attorney. Uh, okay. 1126 on News Talk 550 KTSA. Gang of Four is on the radio. The weekend is underway. Uh, before we let them go to have their weekends, uh, we're going to put them through the lightning round here on Gang of Four. Kathy, Mario, and Michael. Here we go. Quickly moving through some topics. Uh, we learned today that the brand new U.S. Postal Service uh, stamp depicting the Statue of Liberty accidentally is a picture of the Statue of Liberty replica in Las Vegas. The Postal Service admitting that they made a mistake <laughs> when several uh, designs were, were uh, submitted. Uh, they really liked this one. <laughs> And the reason they liked it is because it's such a clean, pristine image. Well, that's because it's not Lady Set Liberty herself. Isn't that just, doesn't that just sort of symbolize everything that's wrong How right now? How much is the stamp? <laughs> it's the forever stamp. Oh, it's forever That's a designer who Googled an image and didn't bother to check where that image came from. So would that be a copyright violation? I don't know. They might have some a case on their hands. Yeah, the, it, what's that? What's that? Is it New York? Is that the name of the casino? New York, New York. New York, yeah. Yeah. New, York New York. So maybe uh, they've got a case. They but, probably do. Um, the uh, people at MGM Resorts, which owns the casino, said, we thought they were just honoring uh, us. But uh, no, not the real Statue of Liberty. Well, it fits right in. We're not uh, we're not upholding the real Constitution. Yet, right? You know what the heck? The oh no, it's oh, okay. the stamps. The it's stamps printed, done. It's forever yeah, done. <laughs> it's forever. Ooh, if you could get those, and New York, New York's going to get residuals. Yeah, stamp. yeah. Uh, this week we talked about on the show a uh, school in the Chicago area. Uh, it's a K through seven school that has made a new rule that has everybody up in arms. Absolutely no bringing lunch from home. Every student must buy uh, the school lunch. Is it a private or public? It's a public school. No principal, more sugar sandwiches. Principal yeah. Elsa Carmona says it's to protect students from their family's unhealthful food choices. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't the kids just live at the school? Uh, why, why let them go home at all? You know, these parents can't be trusted. Yeah, I saw this story, and I'm, I'm curious about who the, the food distributor is, Airmark, Cisco, whoever it is, because if they're losing money on it, they're going to apply pressure to the school district uh, to get these students back on track, because what does a lunch cost per day? $2 per day? You well, can that's what they charge for That's it. what they charge for it, but a parent can make lunch, you know, you buy in bulk, whatever it is, for 50 to 75 cents a day, so there's, there's money involved here. So I'm not so sure it's just about the kids' nutrition. It's about who's losing money on this deal. If kids are bagging their lunch and bringing it... That doesn't sound right. It's on any level. No. no. Is, it, is it just proposed, or no, it actually no, it's has been endorsed? It's happening. It's yeah. happening. Here's the thing. I, I, we got into a, a lot of different tangents when we talked about it. People were defending school lunches, saying, hey, they're better than they used to be, and the food is good. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. They may be fine. It's they may the be right. great. But I mean, for crying out loud! And I mean, if you can't exhort people to do better, and, and if can't, if giving them the information on nutrition is not enough, then is this what we must do? I mean, is this because logically, then why stop with lunch? I mean, don't let those parents give them breakfast or dinner either. And what about the weekends? Sure. And what about the summer? They'll poison those kids to death. Well, but I thought we were only responsible for educating their minds. We weren't responsible. Oh, Kathy, for their you, you must have missed a couple of memos. Nutrition. I think I did. Yeah, no, it's the, it's much more than that. In fact, we don't really have time for education anymore. What are you? Well, that's What true. are you talking about? Um, Look, I, and, and, and then somebody wrote to me who'd lived in Chicago, and, and she said, look, I don't want you to use my name or anything, but I know this area. It's, it's a very poor area. The kids probably do not get very good food at home. The parents probably do send junk, or, or the kids don't even get a lunch. So they probably have to find something in the house They're to eat. They're not on free or reduced it, it may It may be, that, it may be that, 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 yeah, our eating habits are bad, and we are making our kids obese. I don't deny any of that. I just don't support turning over the parenting of children to the government. Uh, as the answer. Is this the best we can do? I mean, is this it? And in my time, if I, I'm just trying to picture my parents. If they made this rule, people would have been down there with pitchforks and torches, you know. Again, where are Where are people? they? Well, it's little by little, you know. Every, every little drip, I think we're just, it's sort of what Mario was saying about where's the anti-war movement. He's saying the anti-war movement got exhausted and gave up. Yeah. Uh, maybe we're just getting exhausted and giving up on all of this yeah. stuff. I'm not giving up, though. Right, we can tell. Get, at least for a few more minutes. <laughs> we interviewed the uh, company, uh, a, dating, a new dating website called What'sYourPrice.com this week. 
you single guys will want to hear about this. I got what's, a girlfriend. I, I, what's I, I, your I, I, price? I, I, wait. I, come on. Well, wait, you might change your mind. <laughs> what? What's your price? Though? My girlfriend's not a wife, Mario. All right, listen. <laughs> Whatsyourprice.com just says, you know, we're gonna we're just gonna put it out there. Here's the truth: uh, some people are attractive, and they are, uh, you know, sought after, and some people are, to use the word on this website, generous. The generous members of the website make cash offers for first dates to the attractive members of the website. So you would say to a girl, Mario, um, would it be worth a hundred dollars to you to have dinner with me or me. Isn't that five. illegal? Well, now wait a minute. They say this isn't. Uh, we're not uh, sanctioning sex or escort sure, services. Sure. But isn't it in fact true that if you were and you are a nice looking guy, but let's say you weren't. Well, thank you. Uh, let's say you were a homely guy and you couldn't get any dates. <laughs> would it be worth? It a sounds like you're amount? describing me. <laughs> what if I don't you're, know, you're a nice looking guy that. too, Michael? All right, everybody's nice looking. But dinner is. Would it be like worth that. it to get to get some FaceTime with a beautiful girl? Would it be worth? Uh, would you spend fifty dollars, a hundred dollars? Fifty dollars, and, and maybe in that bucks. in that moment, oh. uh, she would get to know that you have a sense of humor, or you have a good job, bill? or you. Well, no, you're paying for this. You are Jenna, making wow. a bid I mean, for her time. Personally, I, I wouldn't. But yeah, who's could, the most could, attractive woman you can think of? Uh, the most attractive uh, other than your girlfriend, of course. Oh, uh, my girlfriend's beautiful. Uh, Catherine Zeta Jones. All right, Catherine, uh, bipolar Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah. I forgot now, about that. Forgot about much, great <laughs> choice, Mario. <laughs> how much would we'll you pay? We'll talk after the show. <laughs> how much would you pay to take her out? Um, Catherine Zeta Jones, my gosh. Uh, 1000 $1,000 for a Catherine Zeta Jones. Well, Zeta-Jones I don't think date. you're going to get it, but you can be lucky. Michael Douglas is in the lobby. I mean, personally, I, I, I wouldn't, but I mean, if you want to, you know, I'll play. Or, I yeah. Look, the, the, the people, people were furious with this, and they thought it's just, this is obviously just prostitution. But let me say this. Um, I don't think anything of the women who would take this money. I mean, you're, you're really a very shallow person. Well, can person. men take money as well? And men can take the money, okay. too. But he said the majority of them are, you know, men paying women. I have to say though, I can understand the guy's point of view. Let's say you work really hard. You are uh, you don't have a lot of free time. You're not great looking. Your attributes are not obvious. You're not someone that's going to get dates just because you look great or you have charm. I mean, how are you supposed to get in front of these girls? How are you supposed to have a shot? Well, why do this you have is a your shot. shot with a beautiful girl? Why can't you have a shot with a girl with a nice personality? Yeah. It's the reverse in action there. She's right. Would you I, like me to explain that to you? Oh. <laughs> yes. How much time do we have? <laughs> well, well, did you see the story in, in China? The single population, the bachelors, are just multiplying like crazy yeah. because the, the females there only want to go out with men who own their own right. apartment, not right. people who rent. So it's it's interesting. <laughs> it's true. It's, Twenty million. Show me your lease um, or your mortgage. No so the deal is, uh, uh, a generous member finds an attractive member he or she is interested in and makes an offer. The attractive member then has a chance to accept, reject, or counter the offer with a new price. Wow. Oh. Catherine Zeta-Jones um, will go up. Yeah. Attractive <laughs> members can also approach generous members and suggest a well, transaction. Well, is this working? Or are they? Are they? They have. Uh, I think. It's, what he tells them. Like fifty thousand. They have about fifty thousand members. Well, on which Ooh. side? <laughs> on That's the generous side yeah. or on the look I'll at me side? I bet there's more generous than attractive. <laughs> and he said you can also be on both sides if you want. Which wow. Wow. Ooh, generous and attractive. We've known that the for a perfect long time. match. So you guys are not not liking this. No. Or you're not sure about this. Oh no, I'm, Mario, I didn't say I don't like it. I I just said I wouldn't participate. You don't need it. You guys don't. I'm need fine. It. You're I, successful. You're good looking. You're not the guys I'm thinking. Okay, of. Okay. Well then, I, you know I might pay for a good looking young man to take me out to dinner. Well, that would be the Cougar website. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a that's a different website. We'll we'll uh, we'll get you that link. All right. And what about soap operas? We talked about this a little bit with Karen Klaus. Just a thing of the past. Their time has come and gone. I'm gonna miss them. I mean, it's nothing that I watch, but I like knowing they're there. Soap operas still exist. Do you know it's, it's called reality field. TV? Yeah, no, it's, it's called field. reality oh, TV. Oh yeah, the Real Housewives of whatever. These are also the new soap opera. They're the new yeah. soap opera. You know, it's funny. Uh, my fiance Janie watches the Spanish novella soap opera, yeah, and yeah. when I come home from playing basketball, that, 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 it's just crazy. Those are still man. popular. As yeah, those are so popular. Crazy. Yeah, the women there are so gorgeous. Michael, and she's and watching them now. <laughs> uh, what about this? Um, I always thought the most amazing thing about those shows, and I only watched them a little bit in college because I had the time. I was amazed. I was blown away at how they memorized so much script material every day. 
That's like shooting a TV, uh, a one-hour TV drama every day. That, I mean, isn't that impressive? That's their job. Yeah. But memorizing all that That's dialogue, their job. That's what they do. And it's very talky. And their shows production are schedules. Like but you can too, train your brain to do that, and it, it becomes rote after a while. Well, you know what I think happens? I think they, they actually, eventually, uh, they become the character. I think if you're if you're Susan Lucci and you've played this uh, Erica Kane or whatever her name is Man, for is twenty something, thirty for something years, she now? She like, yeah, she you is. probably just become her, right? Maybe they don't even I have to write a so, script. Yeah. You know what you're going to do when you get out there and what you're going to say when that guy comes through the door. I imagine you, she probably spent more time playing her character than she yeah. did playing herself. But to her credit, she's been married to her same husband for I don't know how long. I don't know any. I don't oh know, yeah, so how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I just do. You gotta be worried if my kid's <laughs> English teacher knew that right off the top I, of her head. I will say that I watched the very first episode of All My Children or whatever that was, and I watched it all the way through college, and then I kind of lost track of it. But yeah. I, because I don't know what's going on, but I do know Erica Kane, and I do read in the Star when stuff is. Really I used to see uh, Days of Our Lives and Guiding Light, which I think are both gone. Yeah. Uh, when I was in college. And then once in a while, I'll walk by a TV or we'll have it on in here. Sometimes we forget to switch over to the news stations. <laughs> and it, it's yeah. amazing. Uh, These people are still on. Yeah. The which people? I was in college like 25 years ago. I loved ago. it at UT. They would watch, uh, they would start it with all my children and go through One Life to Live in General Hospital. And any dorm room you walked into, it was just really? packed. And they would yep. watch for the mistakes. And it was hilarious because they would go, look, the phone rang before they answered wow. it. And then you would start watching for all this. Well, we got to explain, Kathy, to these younger people that uh, when we were in college, you know, the, the, you'd go to the student lounge, okay, between classes. Oh, yeah, there weren't. We didn't have phones. Internet. There was no internet. That's right. All there was was a TV, or you did your homework. One TV, I not mean, that cable. That was it. And we didn't have uh, whatsyourprice.com to make offers. <laughs> to other people, so. But we did have the prices right. Yeah, we did have the prices right, and now <laughs> we have the, the prices numbers. right in dating. So, <laughs> all right. Well, look, we wish you a happy uh, Fiesta weekend. Be safe, Michael. Uh, you know, when they say four, look up. Yeah. All right. And uh, come back and be with us again on Gang of Four. Thanks right. for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We do it every Friday. The podcast of Gang of Four will go up this afternoon on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com. It's 1139. Once again, here's Karen.